Praise the Lord. I thank and praise God for this opportunity. Let's talk about who God is and how much I love Jesus. Some of the things that we have to do, you know, in our Christian life, we have to give it priority. We have to dictate to our, our, our body on what we need to do. And one of the important things that we do as a Christian is praising God. Praise is an expression to God, our appreciation and understanding of His worth. It is saying thank you for each aspect of His divine nature. When we praise God, we help ourselves by expanding our awareness of who He is. God is divine. He's our creator. He's our sustainer. He's holy. So we are expanding our expression to God by praising Him. Now in the Old Testament, we see that praise was a big part of worship. First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 4. Um, it talks about how the Levites were appointed to minister before the Ark of the Lord, to commemorate, to thank, and to praise the Lord God of Israel. So they even had a praise team, and they were the, the, the tribe of Levi. Uh, uh, Levi. They, you know, they, they were, the Levites were asked to minister before the Ark of the Lord, before the Ark was taken up anywhere to transport or move somewhere else. The Levites went ahead and they, they, uh, they were the ones that were praising God. So you see that praise is a big part of, of the Bible and how God loves praises of his people. Now another um, verse goes into a little deeper. It's in 2 Chronicles chapter 5, verse 12 and 13. 2 Chronicles chapter 5, verse 12 through 13. All the Levites were, who were musicians stood on the east side of the altar dressed in fine linen and playing cymbals, harps, and lyres. They were accompanied by 120 priests sounding trumpets. The trumpeters and singers joined in unison as with one voice to give praise and thanks to the Lord. So the first service at the temple was honoring God and acknowledging God's love. In our life too, praise should be a continuous thing in our life. We have to begin our worship with praising God. Amen. God loves the praises of His people. Psalms 103 verse 2, the Bible says, Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things that He has done for me. We never want to forget what God has done in our lives. And this is Psalmist David. He wrote the psalm in Psalms 103. Let everything that I am praise the Lord. Let me never forget what God has done for me. Now, Praising God first, it recalls God's love and mercy, and that will inspire us to worship Him. David focused on praising God for the good thing in his life. It is easy to complain about life, but let's go through David's list of praiseworthy things. He says he forgives our iniquities, he heals our diseases, he redeems us from death, he crowns us with love and compassion, he satisfies our desires, he gives righteousness and justice. We receive all these things without desiring, without deserving them. No matter how difficult the journey is, you can always count on God's blessings. That's something that I love to do, is always look back and see where I was and where I am now. That is one good way to remember when you're going through some tough times. That is one good thing. One way you can start praising God again. Oh man, who, where I used to be, who I used to be. And where I came from, my roots, you know, the humble beginnings, the, the, the hard times that I, I, I have gone through in the past and how God has came through for us. If you were going through some difficult situation right now, don't focus on that because the enemy will exaggerate it and, and hyper focus you on that one particular situation. And you're just trying to scramble through finding ways to get out of it or how I can escape that situation. But think about what God has brought you. You have gone through many worse things. You have gone through many afflictions. Maybe in your childhood you've been through some things. Maybe you're going through some things right now. But just remember what God has done for you in the past. Amen. He has got us out from the miry clay. He has set our feet on a rock. And Jesus is our rock. He is a refuge, a stronghold. He's a wall of fire around us. We just have to remember who God is and praise Him for who He is. He is on the throne. God is holy. He is he's worthy. He is worthy to be praised and adored. Amen. Praise is also a powerful weapon against the enemy. In Acts chapter 16, verse 25, we see about Paul and Silas, how they were stripped and beaten and placed in stocks in the inner cell. 
Now they were chained and shackled. Despite their situation, they praised God. Let me read that verse for you. Acts chapter 16, verse 25. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened and every chains were loosed. And the keeper of the prison, awaking from sleep and seeing the prison doors open, supposing the prisoners had fled, drew his sword and was about to kill himself. So Paul and Silas, they hadn't committed any wrong. All they did was uh, pray for a, a girl that was in bondage and she got delivered. And the people that you know saw that, they got mad and they threw, him in, threw them in prison. Now Paul, they, they were fastened in, in the inner prison. They were thrown in the inner prison and they were fastened with their feet in the stocks. So they were chained or they were in pretty, pretty good high security prison. That's what in, in, the stocks were used for high criminals or criminals that they did not want to escape. Um, that's where Paul and Silas were. But you see that when they started praising God, how you know the, the chains fell and the shackles fell. They came out of the prison and God just set them free. When we praise God, He will send His angels and loosen our chains. Praise is powerful to deliver us from sickness, witchcraft, spiritual dryness, financial difficulties, whatever you may be facing. Praise is powerful enough uh, for, for you to get delivered. Praise is power. Praise God, lifting your hands with singing, with dancing and honoring God. Praise Him in good times, bad times, hard times, when all walls around you are closing in. Praise Him with all who you are and watch what God does for you. Amen. In Psalms 22 verse 3, the Bible says you are holy enthroned on the praises of Israel. Revelation chapter 4 verse 8, it says, And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of ice within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Now worship takes our mind off of problems and focuses them on God. You see the four bees with six wings, they were flying about singing, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Now when we get to heaven, this is what we're going to do. We're going to fly about and we're going to just sing, Holy, Holy, Holy. We're going to do what the cherubims do. We're going to do what the 24 elders do. They're sitting around the throne of God and they're worshiping the high and mighty God. He who who is and was and is to come. Amen. So He is God Almighty and we have to worship Him. We might also practice worshiping Him while we are here on, here on earth. Worship, it will take our mind off of problems and focuses them on God. Worship leads from individual meditation to corporate meditation. Worship helps us to focus on God's character. Worship lifts our perspective from earthly to the heavenly. Amen. It takes us to a different realm when we start praising God. You start your, you start feeling your spirit quicken. You start feeling either that closeness to God. I mean, you start praising God. You, you just, your, your atmosphere changes from an earthly realm to a heavenly realm. Hallelujah. Billy Graham stated this. Worship in the truest sense takes place only when our full attention is on God, on His power, His glory, His majesty, His love and compassion. We are called to worship God. We are here so we can praise God. Every minute that you get, you want to make sure that you're spending time with God. Amen. In the midnight hour, when you cry out to God, when you start praising His holy name, and I will tell you a secret, when you go through some trials and stuff, instead of just keeping asking God to deliver you and deliver you, start praising Him. You know, use it as a different tactic to approach your problem, you know, and, and God will come through for you. Start praising the Lord. Start worshiping the Lord for who He is. Amen. The one that has sent His only begotten son to save us mankind amen to deliver us so that we will not be condemned so that we don't have to go to hell how can we not worship the lord he loved the world amen john chapter 3 verse 16 the bible says for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life it's not a myth 
it's not a story that is made up and this is reality john chapter 3 verse 16 the bible says god so loved the world that he gave his only one and begotten son the only son that he had god has given us for our salvation amen he who has the son has life he who does not have the son of god does not have life in first john chapter 5 verse 11 and 12. eternal life is not in us but in jesus alone therefore take him as your savior and you will have eternal life now think about what god has done for us he has taken his only son and he has offered him as a sacrifice to die on that cross now how could we not praise jesus how could we not praise god for what he has done for us he has saved our soul from hell from the clefts of darkness from 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 the enemy me amen hallelujah where once we belong to hell god has transformed us to the kingdom of light amen so we have to believe and trust in jesus hallelujah because he has justified us he has sanctified us he has washed us with his precious blood hallelujah when it comes to man's character there's no difference in god's sight there is none righteous no not one hallelujah that's romans 3 verse 10 there is none righteous in god's sight but man can judge people differently but god sees and looks for one person that is willing to step out for him in faith that god is looking for that one person that will love him and that will praise him and that will worship him let that person be you today make a decision today that you will praise god when you go through hard times when you when you go through some trials in your life when you go through good times and when everything is com comfortable never forget to praise god never forget to love jesus for who he is the bible says seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you your first priority should not be acquiring some material things amen even though the enemy puts all these things in our in our in, in front of us that we need to have and we should have and we should keep up with the joints we don't need to amen what you need is strive for that eternal life and all these things shall be added unto you you don't have to worry about what you don't have be content with what you have today amen god is a good god and he's brought you so far don't focus on your problems and the negative things of your life focus on good things focus on what the lord is about to you be still and know that i am god when you face challenges be still and know that i am god sometimes we speak with our tongue things that are negative and that's what we see happening and the bible says in proverbs life and death belong but on the power of the tongue the tongue that we speak has a lot of power use that tongue to praise god use that tongue to speak positive use that tongue to speak words with faith amen hallelujah so my point today is let's praise god let's worship him for who, who he is amen think about what god has done for us on that cross the son jesus christ son of god died on the cross for our sins for my sins and for your sins so how can we not praise god let's start lifting our voices up and just lift your hands honor god and revere him and just worship him hallelujah change the atmosphere that you're sitting in don't be scared when your spirit starts quickening when your spirit starts giving you new words on your tongue speak it out you might be getting ready to speak in tongues when you start praising him you're you're going to speak in tongues and you're going to be filled with the holy spirit amen and that's promised in the bible it's nothing to be afraid of that is promised in the bible so be filled with the holy spirit be filled with joy and peace and love hallelujah Thank you for taking time to listen to this message and may God bless you with these words. Aadhunika saangeethiya vidhyagaludeyum migacha saangeethiya pravartagarudeyum pinbalathil Christian Live India il evadu ninnum live telecasting ana aarambham kurichirikkunu. For more details contact 9846552220.